Ashlyn. So this is your 5-6 math class. So today we are I'm learning about estimation. Estimation is really like simple easy. Sometimes people try to overcomplicate it and make it complicated, but it's it's not um, complicated at all. So it kind of work like this. Let's say that you wanted to buy six books. Okay? And let's say that your six, your books that you wanted to buy were two dollars and two cents for each book. So if you were just trying to give mommy an estimated amount of how much money you were going to use for, you were going to need for your books, you would in your mind think, well, six times two is twelve dollars. So the estimated amount would be twelve dollars. You didn't figure, you know, you didn't multiply two point oh two times six, you just estimated that 2.02 to be eh, about $2. So six times two would be 12. So that's kind of what estimating is, is like. Let's say you um, wanted to buy something that cost $3.97, and you're trying to just estimate to see if you were gonna buy five of those items, how much, how much that would cost. So you could say, 397 times 5 and get a real answer or you could just estimate and think 397 it's $3.97 closer to $3 or closer to $4 it's definitely closer to $4 so you could say 4 times 5 is 20 so your estimated answer would be about $20 so you're just you're estimating you're getting a, a rounded figure okay um if you had um, $15.06 and you were going to buy something or you were going to buy uh, how, how would I say this one? $15.06 and you wanted to buy three different items and you wanted to spend the same amount on each item. You would ask yourself $15.06 is that closer to $15 or closer to $16? What's closer to $15? So then you would just say 15 divided by 3 is 5. So your estimated answer, estimated, would be $5. Now that's not your real answer, but that is your estimated answer. Okay? If you had $19.95 and you wanted to buy two items, spend the same amount of money on each, then you would say $19.95. Is that closer to $19? Or closer to twenty dollars. Well, that's closer to twenty dollars. So you can say twenty divided by two is ten. So your estimated answer, if I can spell that correctly, your estimated answer would be ten dollars. You're just estimating it, okay? So let's um, open your math book to page one hundred fifty-one, and let's look at section one. So it says estimate the answer. So how they want you to do this, let me write it exactly. How it is in the book, so you'll know how to write it in your book. Beside letter A, it says 1.98 times four. They want you to estimate 1.98. So $1.98, is that closer to $1 or closer to $2? closer to two, so you would just write two right here. And then you would say two times four is eight, so your estimated answer would be eight dollars, okay? Look at letter B, it says three dollars and 95 cent times three. So three dollars and 95 cent, is that closer to three dollars or is that closer to four dollars? That is closer to four dollars, so would you just say the same four? times three, and your estimated answer would be $12. On letter C, you have $1.02 times seven. You're gonna think about that $1.02. Is that closer to $1 or is that closer to $2? It's just closer to $1. So one times seven would be seven, and your answer would be $7, your estimated answer, okay? Um, where are we at? Letter D, 398 times 3. What's that 398 closer to? $3 or $4? Closer to $4. 4 times 3 is 12. So your estimated answer is $12. Okay? 
Letter E, we have $7.05 times, what's it, times two? So that's $7.05. Is that closer to $7 or is that closer to $8? It is closer to $7. So seven times two is $14, okay? Then we have, where are we at? $17.95 times six. That $17.95, is that going to round to $17? Or is that going to round to $18? Which is it closest to? 18. So then you'll have 18 times six. Eight times six is 48. Put eight down, carry the four. One times six is six plus four is 10. So that would round to $108. Did I write that? Hang on, I'm trying to find my answer. I feel like I just messed that up. $17.95, where am I at? Oh, that was a divided by. I'm sorry, baby, that's not a times. $17.95 divided by six, not times six. So $17.95 still rounds to our $18, and then $18 divided by six would be three. So our answer would be three dollars would be our estimated answer, okay? Um, I feel like you can probably go ahead and finish those up on your own in your book. Be sure and do finish that before you start your interactive worksheet though, okay? All right, and then look at section two. Write the correct value of these Roman numerals. So letter I is? You try to tell me first. One, letter C going straight across is 100. Now, actually, you don't have an option but to memorize these Roman numerals, okay? You've not been memorizing things I'm asking you to memorize. This has to be memorized, okay? Letter C. Letter D is 500. Letter X is 10. Letter E, or well, it's the E is the problem, but the letter is L is 50, going straight across. V equals 5, and M equals 1,000. Very good. So look at section 3. It says write the value of each number. Um, so on here, we have M, X, C, V, I, I. Now, just a quick recap. We cannot have more than three digits in a row. X, 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 I, I, I for our numbers, C, C, C. And if we, it, and our digits have to go from least to greatest. They have to just keep going downhill. If we go down and then up and down, then we know where we go down and then up. We have to subtract that down from the up, okay? So here we go. So M is 1,000. X is 10, C is 90, V is 5, and then 1, 1, 1. I see an up down right here from 10 to 90. You see the up down? So that's going to have to be a subtract. I mean, I just wrote the answer. C is 100. So 100 minus 10 is 90. So our answer is 1,000. Ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight. One thousand ninety-eight is our answer. Okay. I don't know why that stumped me for a second. Probably because I haven't finished my second cup of coffee yet. Letter B going straight across. We have M C X X V. So we have one thousand. Then we have one hundred. Then we have ten, ten, and five. So we just kept going down, 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 down. So we're good. So we have one thousand. 11025. Okay, letter um, E. We have L, X, X, V, I, I, I. So we have 50. We have 10, 10, 5, 1, 1, 1. So we have 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78. We were able to add because all of our numbers just kept going down, down, down. Letter D. We have D. C, L, X, 
x i x. All right, so d is 500, c is 100, l is 50, 10, 10, 1, 10. So here we're going down 500, 150, 10, 10, 1, but then we go back up to 10. So those, that's going to have to be fixed into a new number. So 10 minus 1 is 9. So we have 500, 600, 650, 60, 70, 9. So our number is 679. All right, letter E, we have CXV. So C is 100, X is 10, and V is 5. So we just have 100, 15. And then our last one, we have C, D, X, I, I. So our C is 100, our D is 500, 10, 1, and 1. All right, so we have a 100 and a 500, so we're going to have to put those two together. So 500 minus 100, because we went from large back up. So we started, we started and then went up, so that doesn't work. We started with a small one, then went up to a bigger one. doesn't work that way. So 400, and then 10, 11, 12, so equals 412. Okay? All right. Turn. No, that's good. We're, we're good. So um, you will finish up your math class today by completing your interactive worksheets. Follow the, um, the instructions on the post.